Um, all right, so with that out of the way, we can get right into the picks and bans. Uh, as I said, cooking with Grease is home, so you'll have our first map ban. Hunted. Hmm. Grum, what are you thinking, bro? Well, you, I mean, you know what I'm. You know what I want. Gone. I don't know what you want, my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's that's a bit of that's not a very good start. Um, what are you thinking, Brentus? I'm thinking. I'm thinking, either a cl a classic banning classic. Classic it is, is gone cool. from cooking yeah. with grease. Oh, you know okay. What? Yeah. Well, yeah. I guess it's banned. Oh. Nice. Yeah, okay. No, okay. no, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's yeah. fine. Good oh, call. Okay. Good call. Is that is that what you want? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're better. We'll yeah, just, go, just go with it. Just go with that. All right. Uh, and then on the side of Rat Tactics, what are we banning? Uh, we are banning spaceship. Spaceship gone from Rat. Come with Grease. What are we playing first? We pick Slay. Slay our first map uh, over to Rat Tactics. Uh, we they did ban classic, right? Yeah. All right, we'll pick Villa. Villa picked from Rat. We will increase the second map ban. Yeah, I I mean, <laughs> okay, Brunted, can I make this one? What are the three maps? Watermill, yeah, Goldmine, and Courtyard. I okay, think you know what, draw that trust you go. For yeah, it, we're right? getting rid of Goldmine. Goldmine banned from Cooking with Grease. And we'll ban Courtyard. Courtyard banned, so Watermill will be our decider should we need it. Um, DM, uh, Burb, who we should be inviting to the Plobby, and good luck to both teams. Good luck. Someone might need to move me, I'm in the middle of a thing. Brunch, can you do that? <laughs> uh, we're going to head back over to Caster GC. <laughs> All right, so we have uh, Slay, Villa, and Watermill. Pretty classic maps this, this season. I feel like I've never seen these maps before. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so, interesting rat tactics with two B League call ups missing D Cody and. Uh, Karnik. Then cooking with grease. I believe they've got full full A league. So they do. Um, should be a good game between these two. I hope. Um. Okay, first map. Slay. This map is really just going to come down to if Matt's Marvelous learns from their mistakes and doesn't keep dying when going up elevator. <laughs> at the, yes. at the yeah. moment they learn how to not do that, they can actually win the map. But Not dying off the off rip is uh, typically a good way to win a battle box map. You'd think so. Um, so we're just waiting for Cooking with Grease to join the lobby. I'm sure we can invite t -Snez. I don't see a way t -Snez is not playing. Or Brunted. One of the two. And there's Cooking with Grease. All right, Landon is trolling. Literally, do not. If anyone says anything in, in uh, if Landon says anything in chat, just ignore him, please. <laughs> uh, so we'll be playing Slay first. We've got both teams in here. Ready check going out. I would not be surprised if it's Landon who hasn't responded. Of course, it's Landon who hasn't responded. <laughs> This guy, I swear. Alright, Landon is ready. Just start without him. <laughs> Alright! <laughs> On to map one between these two teams.
Zuzum, you have any thoughts going into this one? I already gave them. It's really like rat tactics, the way they play this map, I think they play it well. The land and flank is cool. I think it I mean it works for like two rounds, especially if they don't expect it. But the main issue with rat on this map is just like I said, mass just gets lasered. Every round without fail. They're getting shot from across the map, either from spawn, either from our either either from their elevator, even from just across from them. They just always get shot and they're always getting picked off early. So we'll see just... if Rat is able to avoid the prebos. We see Mass taking that wa water side. Might get pushed by these players. And does. What? Landon dropping on a player. Gets one. Oh wow. And suddenly it's a 3v4. Good pot from Landon. Mass going in, gets a kill. It's a 1v4. Blackshawn gets one before going down. Lando with two, Mass with two. And Cooking with Grease uh, picked apart there. Yeah. Brunin pushed up alone. Gron was back. So Brunin had. Brunin took the fight, missed the hit. Mass got the hit, missed the crossbow, but it didn't matter because Rotom came up for the assistance. Meanwhile, while that fight was going on, Landon ran up right side. Sparky jumps down, not knowing Landon is rushing, and Snaz gets picked off. Sparky was, tries to help, but just gets orb. I was really surprised that those two players, uh, stair side for Cooking with Grease, did not just push Mass together, electing to just send one. I mean, they had the numbers on him. I feel like they could have quick dropped mm -hmm. him pretty easily. Yeah, there were just shots coming in from the stairs side that Gron that made Gron hesitate on the push and wasn't able to back up Brennan in time. And that's just crucial. Mass avoided literally everything that round. Very incredible. I think Cooking the Goose are gonna try to put more pressure on Mass this round. At least that's what they should do. So here we go. For any confused viewers, we have Cooking with Grease in green, Rat Tactics in yellow. We'll get that fixed after this, uh, after this round. Mash Rat on. taking the aggressive position Rotom going here. for a rush. Landon with the elevator flank. Rotom's gonna get pushed here. Can't get in cooking up. Landon down. comes right on Sparky. Just Landon gets one. Blackshawn killed Mass by Mass. Kill on it's a 3v2. Oh, but Landon's getting flanked and dies to see Snaz. Mass goes for the flank. Snaz is just not ready. Oh, but Snaz gets the kill on Snowy. And Mass is a... Oh, wow. good thing Brunton got that. Snaz yeah. letting them 1v1 with very low health. Not sure about that decision. I thought Snaz was lagging out for a second, but trusted Brunton in the 1v1 against Mass. Wow. Rodon goes for the early push, gets a good two-hit combo on Snaz, tries to back out, but Brunted comes in full punishes. Rodon's not ready. Meanwhile, Landon goes for the elevator flank, and it's just not in range of Snaz at all. Snaz is able to get away, and then Landon drops right on Sparky. He has no, like, he has no clue. Neither of them know that they're there, but Landon figures it out first, and Sparky's just not able to fucking, he's not able to fight back. But just the shots coming in in that end game. Snaz coming up the elevator, shooting Landon on the way down. And in that 2v2, Maz got Snaz on one and then switched onto Brunted. And Snowy got full 10 hearted by Snaz while he was on half a heart. So that's just really unfortunate. Yeah, Super Rat just losing round. the 3v2. Good uh, resilience from Cooking with Grease. Tied up going 1 1. Three shots go out, nothing really hits. Rats going for the double elevator thing coming in. Are they ready? Snaz just doesn't know. And now it's a 4v2. It's picked as well. Landon's about to get another. Landon and gets another. 1v4. Two. Not gonna happen. Oh, they fill. <laughs> so 2 1 to Rat Tactics. Another strong round after losing a 3v2 situation. Double elevator flank from Rat Tactics that round. I mean, 
they're just not watching bottom at all and rat tactics are feasting off of it yeah it's not a super <laughs> i mean it's a uh, it's not a super hard thing to read you can see both players going yeah. down low but king of greece not prepared for it not at all they're just so focused on the top fights they're not looking down at all they need to <laughs> they need to look down more I'm sure they They've will start to like uh, look for it now, surely. Surely. Fourth time is the charm. Fool me once, fool me twice, fool me three times, fool me four times. I don't know. I think they'll figure it out at some point. Yeah, Landon getting that flank. Brunner going for that solo push again. Rodom with the support. Just the exact same thing as round one. So here we go. Teams known the right colors. Rat Tactics in blue. Kung with Grease in red. 2-1 lead for Rat Tactics. Get into round four. Sounds like a levy towards the massive side. No, Rat is flanking on the stair side, and they're again oh, not ready for it. Stair side. Rotom gets one on Rotom Bronte. That's a good one. kill. Landon gets one. Landon helps him Phil's out. not by Snowy. Sparky way. gets one. Gets two. Two piece from Sparky. Rotom on doable. one at mid. But the speeds from Landon putting Sparky gets another Ooh, good save from Landon denying the save race from Sparky. That would have been absolutely insane. Miracle, but Landon just puts in too much pressure on the one HP Sparky with speeds and just can't do anything there. Landon not seeming to know how filling works. A little close for comfort. It is a and... difficult skill to master. <laughs> Looking to increase that round, play for a heavy stair side push, and on this map, when you start going for those four player pushes, that's when, that's when it's over. That's yeah. when your map is over. It's not, it's not looking too good. If you're resorting to four man pushes, that's not what you want to do on this map. And they fell for the bait once again. So rat not tactics. Too long. On map point, we will see if they're able to take advantage or if cooking with grease. I mean, <laughs> it was a four v one, but got way way closer than uh, way closer than Rat Tactics would have wanted it to get. So Sparky doing really well to stay alive, make it competitive. Rat Tactics just continuing to send Landon and Rodom on, on flanks on opposite sides of the map, and cooking with grease not reading it. It's just trying to ignore it, which is just not going to work. It's just not how this game works. Here we go. Round five? Five? <laughs> As a Flank comes in, flight. but Gron gets the kill. Mask gets the shot. Gron on half a heart gets finished off. Now just a 3v3 both sides. This is yeah, going to turn into trades. a bow battle here. Mask going to spawn, trying to get a good angle. Sparky moves out the way. And they might drop Mask on him here. Sparky going for the push, but Oh, just what a gets, combo from Mass. Gets obliterated. One low health Mass though. Rotom going for the fill. Rotom going, going for the one sees off. It. Hold on. Whoa. Snaz gets Snowy. hit off. That Running on half fill. a heart as well. Snowy's just filling. This is the shot, and that's just it. Rat Tactics wow. electing to just win the map there. Probably a good call. <laughs> we have seen them in 3v2 situations before in this map, and uh, this time, yeah. no nonsense. So, no, no subs chance. for either team. If we can take Gron's O as a no. <laughs> and we'll be heading over to Villa for our map two. They dealt with the flank and land in, but Mass was able to get the trade on Gron because both Gron and Brunted were low. Four and a half. Gets the shot and just, just able to spam click Gron. And Brunted just completely ditches <laughs> completely ditches Gron there, which I mean is fair. That boy is not living. And just yeah. they're not able to win that 3v3. Sparky going for that push on a crossbow. Yeah, Mass winning that 1v1 really turned that round on its head. Mm. Looked like he was going to get taken down by Sparky. Sparky had the jump. 
but mass with a sword hit, crossbow into a pot, saw Sparky go from full health to uh, not at all. Very interesting push, but maps in the past, now we focus on Villa. So 4 oh. 1 sees Rat Tactics take map one. With Greece losing their map pick onto Rat Tactics pick, which is Villa. We'll see if they have some more ideas on this one. Cook with Greece kind of just looked unprepared for that map. Yeah. They just they they picked that map, knowing that rat tactics don't win too much on it, but they didn't know how to win. Right. They, and they didn't understand the why issue. they don't win too much on it. <laughs> yeah. All I know is that they don't they lose on that map quite a bit. So they just picked it, but they just they don't have a map. Here we go, map two. Aston landing on this right side. Landing getting hit. Mass with the push up early with land. Two players are low. Gets a heal from cross map. But I think Cook with Grease has both these pots and Mass might get punished for it. Landon with the flank on Snaz. Roton getting full push. Bronny gets one. Three, one, gets three one. Snaz gets killed. Ron gets another snowy in a cobweb and it's over. Oh my god. What a quick round. Hectic mid fight. It's a scrappy fight after scrappy fight. Mass jumping down while landing going around in their spawn to get the flank on Snaz. Mass takes the one on the person who's pot, which I believe was Sparky, but he just runs away and Breaded comes in, takes that one, which Mass is just completely off balance for, wins that. Meanwhile, Snaz gets backstabbed, heals himself, and then levies Rotom, who is fighting Sparky, I think. Rotom gets killed by Snaz and then gets traded by Landon. Who then gets traded by Gron. And then Snowy just in a 1v3 gets stuck in a web and just can't do anything. Yeah, Rat Tactics, uh, I think falling into the trap that, you know, playing Cooking with Reese's game, Cooking with Reese kind of wanted that mid fight and they all jumped into it. Um, they had a lot of map presence and they just, they fully gave it up to fight mid and that's just going to cost them the round. Here we go into round two. Clean with Greece with a good start. See if they can carry this momentum. Prebos go out. Doesn't seem like anything hits. And we have a player. Eh, no, Blackshawn's here. Mass holding this angle. F5ing around the corner. Going for an invis. And Rat Tactics invis is filling kill. here. Levy comes in. Only hits one. It's one block, but Mass goes down. Was Sparky gets the kill with the TNT. And now they're going to try to the counter fill. The are going for the fill. But Rotom mauls in himself the block. in the fill. Both Landon of them on one heart. Sorry, on one heart. Black Sean does it. Oh my god. Wait. I am confused as all hell. Oh. Wait, wait what happened where'd to Rotom? Kill? Where'd the kill messages go? Yeah, where'd the kill messages go? Two of them die in a swipe hit from Gron, I'm pretty sure. Or Snaz, it was. And just one of the kill messages didn't pop up for some reason. Snaz <laughs> dies at the exact same moment as well. Rodom dying to mysterious forces. <laughs> Sweep hit on the same tick. Oh, I see. So that makes it a 2 0 for Cooking with Grease after a nice save on a fill attempt. Almost getting their own fill in. And then Black John cleaning up the mess along with T Snaz. T Snaz, I believe, getting two in that round, getting Rotom and Landon. Black Sean cleaning up Snow A. That yep. round. Rat Tactics go for the double invis fill, but Snaz is able to hit at least one of them with the Levy Orb, and that just stalls for barely enough time for Sparky to get down the TNT and for it to blow up mass. And they just snowballed after that. They had a lot of chip damage going into that fight, going into that mosh pit at the end of the round, and Sanz was just able to kill two, 
even if it killed him, Snowy was also on half a heart, and Gron just cleaned up the mess, like you said. Yeah, Landon's TNT not doing enough damage. Uh, gets one, but I mean, the idea of that fill is if they're going to stop it, they should have, you know, they should have to deal with that TNT. And honestly, one going down to it is not all that bad. So Rat Tactics down 2 0 on their map pick now. Going with Grease with a lot of, uh, a lot of momentum. Three shots go out. Nothing really hits. Mask gets hit on this lava Maybe side. always dead push from Rat Tactics here. Oh, but they're stuck in web. webs. Many shots coming Mask in. Mask goes out of Mask gets picked up by Brunton at the bottom. Landon getting lit up. Falls down. Tries to push Sparky, but he, the whole team is there. And Snowy up top. Just on one HP. Can't do anything. Flawless. She's fucking ridiculous. Brunted with two. And rat tactics fall like dominoes. Getting comically stuck in the cobweb. <laughs> 3-0, as clean as you'd like from Cooking with Grease. Not seeing a timeout from Rat Tactics as of yet. I don't I don't know if this team's ever called a timeout, <laughs> I'm gonna be <laughs> honest. Who knows? That those... round, Rat Tactics go for the, the replay or push on hallway side, but Landon and Snowy kind of playing more reserved. They don't want they didn't want to take that charge completely. Because they were scared of that sparky web. And Rotom just gets completely caught in it. Gets hit and shot down to four hearts. And that push was just completely nullified. And in that time, Brunner was able to get the pick on Mass at the bottom. And at that point, that's just a really hard map. Just a really hard round to win. No map space. Down a player. Down health. Down healing orbs. Down util. Just can't win there. If you're right, tactics. So really we'll, well, we'll have to see a reverse sweep if Rat Tactics want to keep this one alive. Brunted going for pot, mask going for pot. Brunted might elect to go for mass again, but mask gets out. Blackshawn hit. It's a lot yeah, more of a bow game this time. Ron shot twice. Gonna get the heal. And Never Sparky's mind. going for a bit of a push. Brunted. Lurking underneath. Brunted going for the push on Landon. Back shot off. Up. Mass is pushed up here. Orb coming in does four and a half. And so Landon on an invis push. Up. Gets one. Quick drop on the black shot. Webs go down. Landon's stuck oh, in a cobweb. Rotom and Snowy get one each. And Snaz is running for his life. Not going to happen. Snowy with two. And there is your Rat Tactics round win, looking a lot better. Rat Tactics that round switched up the tempo, just played very methodical, let the shots, let the shots come in, and com they completely won the range fight. Ron got pushed off lava side; they had more space in that end game, and after all that, I mean, they just closed out the round, played it very technical, and. That's kind of what you need on this map. Yeah, I've never really associated Rat Tactics with being a strong uh, bow game type of team. I always think that they're the ones that are going to kill you on the on the flanks, like we saw on Slay, but proving that they can do it there against a very good team like Cooking with Grease. So, a good win. Um, no way, the B-League call-up getting two kills, so... Very important, too, to keep Rat Tactics alive on this map as we get into round five on Villa. Watch Cooking with Grease and see if they can get it done here. 2-2 two, two push. Three shot onto Snaz. 2-2 two, two split, I should say. Mask getting shot for down, pot. shot once. Mask shot twice. Needs a shot heal. Shot twice. Now I across the map, running over. Sparky, putting pressure, man. They're going for the They're fill. going for it. And they get it. Good oh, web. the webs come in last second. But the TNT is just going to kill Rotom. And now it's a 3v2. Ron gets killed. Oh, but they have high Snaz health. Snaz gets one on Landon. Snowy's still standing in the block. Snowy on one. Just can't do anything. Wow. And the kills disappear once again, unfortunately. <laughs> T-Snaz with uh, three in that round. And... Yeah, I... Four 
one victory this time coming from Cooking with Grease as they take Rat Tactics map pick this time and we will be going to a map three on Watermill. Wow. <laughs> They go for the fill play. Get eight blocks, but Rotom last second gets the web on the one white concrete block left. But gets caught in the TNT. The two TNT he places, though, blows up. Like, it cannons into Gron and just obliterates him. And Sparky gets killed by Landon as well. But then Mass and Snowy are so focused on the fill in that endgame that Snaz is able to get the pick on Landon. And they're able to do practically 2v1 because Snowy is literally a mole in the middle. Yeah. I just no way, can't not realizing. With the fight at all. It's kind of a lose if you, you know, damned if you do, damned if you don't for Snowy. Because if he steps out of the block and goes for the fight, maybe Cooking with Grease immediately then just places the block. I guess mm -hmm. has to jump up and place a block underneath him and rejoin the fight. But. Yeah. It's a really hard situation to deal with there. It's just, just unfortunate. Really well played by Cooking with Grease in that endgame to convert that 2v3 into a win. Yeah, they had okay. a very good timing on that fill, realizing that Snow A dropped off of the lava side to go heal mass. And as soon as they saw that player go into spawn, they hopped on mid and almost got the fill off. Mm. Uh, what map is it now? Uh, Watermill will be our third map. Oh. Historically, a, a good map for both teams. It's going to be interesting. So, Cooking with Grease on Watermill is 4-2 and two this season. Uh, Rat Tactics, on the other hand, uh, Game Sheet just won't load for me. That's cool. Uh, Rat Tactics is 3-2, and two, so pretty... Similar records on this map should be pretty even. As all players are ready, we will get right into it. Map three, two, four, one wins a piece. Very little uh, separating these teams as of right now. What a mill! What a mill! Woohoo! <laughs> Can't wait to watch his Ron Crossbow gameplay. I'm looking forward to it. Here we go, getting right into it. Zero, zero. We will see who will take the advantage in this round one. Our tactics Nobody favoring this tower side. Both teams are. Heavy They're going head to head. Side. Heavy tower side fight coming in. Orb. Sparky getting dropped. Five arts mass. The push from Rotom. Landon getting Sparky. lots of hits in. Might go down to Snaz. Gets Snaz oh, instead, and now it's Black Sean. Yeah. Landon with a nice 3k. Yeah, it looks like Clipping gives you just a lot more split on that fight, I felt. I just think that. Uh, yeah, Landon they were had so like focused a... on like one person at a time that Landon and Rotom were just able to get damage at separate times, and they were just and Landon is just able to finish all of them off. Yeah, Landon had like really? a late entry into that fight, which allowed him to just pick his uh, <laughs> pick who was low and just start critting them out. Mm -hmm. Did well to win against Snaz. I thought Snaz was gonna trade. But I guess if you're Rat Tactics, that's the exact kind of positioning that you want to see Landon Legends in. Going crazy on that sword. I feel like you used to even have a crossbow. I, I saw Gron, he was on the flanker kit. I would imagine Mass would have crossbow for Rat Tactics. Yeah, no, they do. I'm pretty sure they do. But I don't know who has the crossbow for this team. Nobody. Alright, good to know. So yeah, no crossbow on the side of Cooking with Grease. Maybe playing for some of those TNT fills with the KBX. Rat again favoring Rotom tower side. Man. They're gonna get orb though, it yeah. There. Double orb. Or 
There's another three hearts, but nothing to do. Here comes that. the push from Rotom. Over extending a little, backs out. Shots on to these. Let's get shot players. once on four and a half. Running, starting to threaten the fill. Oh, Brandon they're gonna do it. In. Get six blocks in. Rotom going in the in two the hole. From Sparky. Sparky gets two with the TNT. The shot comes in on Snowy. Snowy on one gets killed. Mask gets one, but just with a crossbow, you can't do anything in that situation. Not at all. And it, I hate to call it, but uh, Cooking with Grease, go for the TNT fill. Uh, getting a two Rat Tactics players with the TNT. <laughs> He's going for the fill there. Landon just fully critting out, just full crit spam, does not care what happens. Rotom goes for that mole play, starting to mine out mid. Wow, inside of it, but just... Landon gets hit back into the TNT and Rotom is just sacrificing himself like he always does on these kinds of TNT fills just to stop that fill from happening and completely evens numbers. Not evens numbers, it gives Cooking with Chris the 3v2 advantage and with the math on crossbow, that's practically an impossible round to win. Yeah, maybe so if you're red tactics, person. you're going to want to save your damage orbs and stuff like that for that sort of situation now. Maybe. Just drop it down onto mid as soon as you see them going for it. Once again, we are tied up one to one on this map three. Red tactics again favoring this tower side. Orb goes what out. That orb? That's a crazy orb onto no one. <laughs> Rotom. Landing Force gets hit. Regents, right? Rotom gets, gets shot by Oh, but they're going to fill. They're all up top. They have seven blocks in, but... TNT goes down. Gets pushed off. TNT, who is that? That's Sparky's. Running, going for the push, but... Rat, Rat gets a fill. fill. My guy. And... With Greece, I guess, assuming that they had eight blocks and that they're gonna have eight blocks for the rest of the round, not realizing Rat had gone in and completely turned the tides. Good, uh, good commitment to the fill from Rat. Can be difficult in those mid fights to commit to getting it done. Yeah, it's going for that early fill again that won them the round two, that won them round two, but. This time, it felt like the TNT just wasn't there. It felt like Snaz kind of went for that solo fill and got seven blocks in, but just wasn't able to get anything else in before Rat Tactics all swarmed him at the bottom. And after that, the TNT came down, but at that point, it's just not going to do much like it did in that round two fight. Yeah, and... I, do, I do wonder if Cooking with Grease sent one more person to assist Black Sean on that fill, how it would have gone. Who knows? So now Rat Tactics with the lead once again, two to one. As we head into round four, pre shots going out. Doesn't look like anything connects. They're this time favoring bridge side. Double heavy bridge side. Can you just give it up? Go to tower side. Orb comes in on mid. Shots going out. Mask getting some Sounds good shots. Small. Players Sparky low. on one. Going for a group Blackshawn peel. Black Sean and Gron. Group oh, peel comes now in. Now Rat's gonna fill. Going for a push on Black Sean. That's a double hit. And Rat Tech is going for the fill, but Spark Snowy gets killed. Snaz gets the kill on Landon, but Mask gets the trade. The 2v2. Rotom on one. Gets, gets killed. One. Both of them such Both of them low are one hit. The shot with doesn't it. come in. Oh, but the pot doesn't oh, do enough. Oh, my God. Oh, Mass with a heartbreaking pot that only does two hearts to the two players on three and a half. They and Cooking with Grease defend it. Mass just with a pickaxe can't do three and a half hearts and with the crossbow can only shoot so many arrows you need those arrows to land at the end game when you, if you're masked there but the moment you miss that one arrow the round just slips from your hands that's super unfortunate cooking with grease sean's really well to that land and flank sparky was ready for the snowy phil places tnt and kills them off of it while snaz gets the trade on landon Trying to get into a 3v2. But Mass as well. Coming in at the end, just prints out Mass with the pickaxe, gets the trade there. Good win Meanwhile, from Cooking with Grease. Keeping this one 
two apiece, all tied up, making my heart rate go higher and higher as I have no bias in this game. <laughs> So here we go. Let's see if Cooking with Grease can continue that momentum. They did well to fend off Rat Tactics in that round. Into round five we go. Rat Tactics again favoring this bridge side, it looks like. Actually, having two linger around mid. Yeah, and they Probably will rotate out one. to tower. One. Double invis coming in. Spiky. Trying to place that TNT deep, but gets hit off it, so it just settles with the middle part. And now and they're going for a flank. push on Snaz. It's low. Just in the middle of all three of them. Snaz gets the kill. Mass going for the push. Gets a kill. Gets, Sparky on two. Kill. Sparky on two. The TNT comes down, but... Fronted on one. Snowy yeah. with the final kill. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that was a <laughs> wild round. <laughs> Looking with these, just keep getting completely lasered in these fights. And Landon keeps trying to come in to punish. But that round, he just ran into three different Cooking the Grease players and gets completely punished for it. But Mass gets the pick on Gron, so at least it isn't that detrimental. And afterwards goes in for the trade on Snaz, gets the gets the pickaxe into the crossbow shot. Very well played from Mass there. Hold on, wins the one against Sparky and Grunted can't convert with the 1v3 even after getting the trade. Very interesting. Both teams have swapped sides from the start of what has happened. And Rat Tactics are benefiting greatly from it. So Rat Tactics with two opportunities to close this one out and get a win versus Cooking with Grease. Very, very important for their playoff hopes. See if they can get it done on this round six. Or will it take a round seven for either team to get it done? Favoring bridge side so once again. Snowy's low. Invis is run away. Oh, but this cooking with grease team is going to try to fill mid. Going towards mid, but landing gets one. Get Brunid gets picked off. And Sparky Mask gets one. Gets killed by the by the TNT, but Black Shawn in a one v three, and right. GG Rat Tactics win on a three K from Landon Legends, one from Rotom. As they secure a 4-2 win on Watermill, an absolutely crazy last map. Right. Just back and forth, back and forth till the very end on Watermill. The Rat Tactics with that bridge side just looking a lot more comfortable, especially Mass with that pot. They're just able to convert at the end. Very well played. Wow. So... I will see if I can get a final stats yap in going. Um, looks like we're still... I'm seeing some crazy stats right now already and doesn't look like stats are done. Uh, looks like they're about to be now. I think all the stats kills are, are in done. at least. Stats are done. All right. My goodness. So we'll start off with the side of Cooking with Grease. Uh, Black Sean on 6 and 11, Brunted on 6 and 8, Sparky on 11 and 12, Snaz going 13 and 10. On the other side, with Rat Tactics, we had Snow A Healer going 4 and 8, Rotom going 7 and 11, Mass Marvelous at 9 and 7, and Landon Legends, please save us on 21 and 10. That's insane. 